Welcome back all my fellow floundering adults. I am here again and we're going to talk about some weird gifts that you might receive over your life. Now these aren't necessarily gifts that you don't like. Um, it's just, they're odd. Some of them, yeah. I mean, we all receive shit that we don't like at all. Um, but other times it's weird, but it's our kind of weird, so it works. So I thought I'd pull out some of those things with some honorable mentions as we go along. Um, I say honorable mentions because either I don't have them accessible right now, like at the beginning of this photo, um, at the beginning of this video, there's a photo, well the thumbnail I guess, is the, um, it's, it's a hoodie that you can carry around a cat in while looking like a cat yourself. It's currently in the wash right now, so uh, it's getting an honorable mention, uh, but that was a birthday, Easter, or Christmas gift from one of my dear friends, Steph, and it is absolutely ridiculous. And for the most part, like, it's advertised as, like, hands-free, you can take your cat around with you. No, it's not hands-free, because the little jerks are so heavy, you have to, like, put a hand under to support them anyway. Um, unless they happen to be clawing the drawstrings, like Dobby was in the photo. So, I've dug up some of the other things that I have. Some of them I love, um, some of them I don't, and... We're just gonna go through them. So I think I will start off first with these guys. So I don't even remember who gave these to me anymore. I think it was, no, it was my cousin Patty. Uh, she gave me these lovely magnets that are cat buttholes. It's very strange. And they came with a field guide of how to find cat buttholes and identify them. Um, I love cats, but I am not a cat butthole connoisseur. So it, it was a little, a little strange. I did, I only have these two left. It came with more, but I was in a friend's wedding and I'm very, we're all very close, everyone in the wedding party. So for all the bridesmaids and the bride, I took and everyone got to pick their own kitty butthole. And these were the two that were left. Never mind. Uh, another fun thing. So this hoodie, here. I'll put it on for you. Ugh. Actually, I don't think you're going to be able to see it quite right. Well, it's a unicorn, but what I didn't realize when I had been given it was it's, you know, vomiting the rainbow. And then I thought it's tail was the rainbow. I'm gonna have to take this back off actually. <laughs> so, for the longest time I thought that the tail was the rainbow and I was wearing it once at work. I worked in um, a call center so I had a very lax dress code but thankfully they didn't realize this because I definitely would have gotten in trouble for it and I stopped wearing it once I realized it. Yes, this Unicorn is shitting a rainbow. So it's vomiting a rainbow and shitting a rainbow. And who gave me this? My uncle on my dad's side. I really am amused by it. I don't know if he realized it was um, shitting the rainbow or or not, but let's finish off what weird things my cousin Patty has given me. There is this lovely thing which I got for Christmas. Yes, it is a bath toy that is a rubber ducky that is dressed up in a unicorn costume. He does live in my bathroom. I do enjoy him. He has very nice decor. I don't think I would ever bathe with this because that's just not in my wheelhouse of weirdness. Yes. Um, one of my very good friends, Jasmine, um, every year, um, we've been friends for, I don't know, high school, I think I was 15 when we became friends. She now lives in Kentucky, so every Christmas we send each other uh, stockings, Christmas stockings filled with gifts. But usually they're fairly odd things. I don't know if it started out that way, but definitely went that way. I, I, I might have kicked off the weirdness because I did send her a 
pillowcase that had Nicolas Cage's face on it. So, and like the whole thing is his face. It's real special. So I may have been the one that started this off. Um, so this year she, she sent me this lovely canned platypus. Yes. Uh, Hello. Contents, one shy platypus. After op opening, keep contents in reach of children. Caution, may cause indigestion. Used by January 26, 3001. And then it has some lovely platypus facts on the back. This is quite special. Very, very bizarre. I would never have got this for myself, but it's very cute hanging around my house on like bookshelves and such. Going on to weird things that Jasmine sent me this past Christmas, or no, no, it wasn't Jasmine. It was again, this was my cousin Patty. I lied, this is my cousin Patty. I think you're seeing a trend here. Yes, this is a pink unicorn poncho. Have you noticed a theme yet? Ugh. You know, I actually enjoy this. I haven't had a chance to wear it other than right now, but at least no one will ever run me over, no matter how terrible the thunderstorm. Uh, they will definitely see me. There'll, there'll be no excuse. That's, that's simply murder at that point. Uh, yeah, I don't know where in the world she found this thing, but in case you weren't able to see it on camera that, that well. Oh, it's magical rain protection. I do feel quite magical right now. Yes. Um, so you're probably at this point noticing a unicorn theme. I probably have every weird unicorn thing ever made at this point, I feel. Uh, I have a vibrating unicorn. It's not a sex toy. It's just like a stuffed animal that vibrates for some reason. I really enjoy scaring the cats with it. I have a lot of weird unicorn stuff. Unicorns were my favorite animal growing up. I've been obsessed with them since, oh gosh, I can remember. Uh, in fact, I was three or four and some lady had asked me what my favorite animal was. And so I said, a unicorn. And she then laughed at me and told me that unicorns weren't real and so they could not be my favorite animal. So yes, lots of tears and my mother was very upset about that. So she proceeded to tell me a Bible story about how the unicorns are real. They just did not make it onto Noah's Ark because they were too busy playing. I believe that story up until, like, I had no reason not to trust my mother up until I was in my 20s and I had said something about it and my one of my roommates at the time was like, Sabrina, that's not in the Bible. That is a a song. That is a song that w was made. So I then contacted my mother and was very upset with her. And she laughed hysterically. She's like, I can't believe one that you remembered that and two that you believed it. Cause I, w I had to be like 25 at the time. Again, I'm a floundering adult. I don't know what you expect of me. So I have a, I have a long history of floundering. So then <laughs> Um, the next thing I'm going to show you is on the unicorn spectrum of things. It's probably my favorite thing I've ever received as far as um, a unicorn gift. Um, it's one of my all-time favorite gifts um, just because of the amount of time and care and love that went into creating it. So here we go. It's a little dusty. I had to pull it off my wall. Um, this guy right, right here. Um, I absolutely adore this. So. It's everything that I love. It's a unicorn. Um, it's obviously made out of a book or probably several books, honestly. And my bachelor's is in English. I love to read. That is the one thing about this quarantine. I've been catching up on, on my reading. Although I have stacks of books that hopefully I will not get to 
Very nice. A little dusty. I have to clean that off. I did just pull that off the wall for this. It's been sitting in the same spot for like five years. Th this is going to be an honorable mention, actually. So, my mother had the ability to give the weirdest gifts. Now, most of them I really liked, but some of them were so far off. Um, like, like really really far off. One of the things I got uh, when I was 12, as I mentioned in my last video, I'm a huge wrestling fan. It was a thing me and my dad watched. Um, that's what we really bonded over when I was a kid and a teenager. So I think for my 12th birthday, um, or maybe Christmas, I received a 12 pound China bowling ball. Um, China the wrestler, not made of China, which is a distinction I had to make for someone before. Um, that is currently in my attic. I did try to find it. I couldn't. Um, it's in a box somewhere. I love that thing. I will never get rid of it. It's undrilled. Please, no stupid jokes. Um, but I tried it with my favorite wrestler because uh, I was obsessed with Xena, Warrior Princess. And I saw her and I was like, oh, it's Xena come to life. Even though Lucy Lawless is a real person. But you get my, my messaging there, I think. Um, so, just to kind of give you an idea of where my mother's brain was at with gifts, um, one thing that she got me and my two roommates, uh, oh, I think I was probably 25-ish, was a set of, she had these made, one for each of us, of these, uh-huh, yep. I, 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 I'll get even closer. It's not, it's not a tree topper. It's not, it's, it's an angel. The one angel wings falling off. So it's like carefully placed there. This actually isn't, oh, and her head's going too. So she, she someone she knew, I think made these, maybe, I think, um, they're freaky. They're, they're just weird. I would take a room full of china dolls versus, or, you know, porcelain dolls versus these things. So, we felt bad. So we would always take and put them out whenever she was coming over on the one bookcase. Um, I, once we moved, me and my roommate Steph moved into our own place, Mine mysteriously got lost in, in the move and just, it was just gone. So this is actually Steph's. Um, she lent it to me um, for this video. We're still doing social distancing, don't worry. But yeah, this was lent to me. Uh, she still has hers. Um, I think for fear that she will be cursed if she gets rid of it, which is possible. She's less floundery than I am, I feel. Yeah, this is so weird. I This might haunt your dreams later. I, I do apologize. I'll just put that down there. So yeah, these are some of the interesting gifts I've received over the years. Uh, there's a bunch more I've gotten <laughs> rid of. Quite a few of them. I'm not going to lie about that received over the years. So if you want, add a comment or a picture of some of the weird stuff that you've received as gifts over the years. And yeah, stay calm and normal as much as you can during this time. Even that means you have to pet your canned platypus. That's normal, right? Or make these weird YouTube videos so you don't feel so alone. <laughs> it's hard being extrovert these these days. Although I will say even my introverted friends have said, you know, they they want out. They've had enough at this point. You know, we're going on a month basically here. Um, but yeah, we will get through this at some point. And in the meantime, keep on floundering.